Rohan Rahim, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to populate opponents, and uh, it's very important because uh, when we will in track selection, and after track selection, we can select whether we are selecting race track or trial uh, track. So, uh, for the race track, we actually want to populate the opponents. So, for that purpose, we will add one line here one variable public static int opponent scar in universal save script and then we can go to options menu script and inside options menu script uh, we will just uh, uh, we will just add a function uh, here inside lab count next and uh, uh, yeah in the lab count next uh, we will just uh, sorry not here uh, actually um, here at this spot uh, we will just uh, add uh, this line of code after these labs and uh, sorry this is again the lab counts uh, after this in uh, this opponents next uh, function we will add this line of code uh, where we are uh, getting opponents counts and we are making it equal to current opponent count okay and also we will just copy the similar line and we'll paste it here uh, inside opponents back function so we'll add it here and add it here as well so uh, that's it for the options script and uh, also in the last function which is wait to load to function uh, we will add the same line over here as well before this scene a uh, load scene uh, function okay so this is important after that uh, we will just uh, move back to ui script and uh, inside the ui script we will create actually we will just convert a public variable of total cars to private variable because we are populating data from a universal save so here we will just create some more game objects like uh, opponent black opponent blue opponent red opponent yellow if you have more cars you can do so you can add um, other game objects as well and in the start function we will say that total car is equal to universal save dot op opponents count plus one and this plus one is actually relates to our player card so what will happen that if we select one opponent we will have two cars one player card and one opponent card so that's why we are adding plus one so this plus one is for player card so now we will just uh, move uh, for, uh, uh, further and uh, inside the uh, inside the start function we will add one another function here set car visibility function okay so we have to create this function so i have created this function over here before update method i have created this function so avoid start uh, set car visibility and uh, function we will just say if total cars equal to one then we want to display only one car actually we will uh, we have a mistake here so we will just uh, copy this line of code and uh, here i will just paste it and for one total car because one car is actually player car so we will just make it false so all opponents car will be false okay uh, when the condition is one then if we have two cars available then we have uh, for first car true then we have uh, three cars and we have true true for two opponents cars and uh, the player will be the third car and then we will select four cars here and then we will select five cars and one more important thing is that in uh, selection menu i have added seven uh, figure for opponent cars so we will do the same code for the six seven and the eighth 
method as well okay so now if we select seven cards even then we will have four opponents okay because we have four enemy cards already if you have uh, more cards uh, you can uh, definitely add other cards here as well so i hope you understand this script and uh, now that's it we'll just move back and we'll just go to uh, our scenes and then we will actually open the uh, uh, this scene race track scene one race track so let's open this one and uh, we will manually add the cars to ui script uh, options so let's wait for some seconds okay so now we will select the ui uh, which is like this canvas mini map and we have okay where is our okay i think inside scene objects we have ui or where it is i just okay this one sorry canvas race track okay so here you can see that uh, in the canvas uh, ui script we have four more field opponent black blue red yellow so we'll just uh, add enemy black to this field and uh, my mouse is actually not uh, uh good so that's why sometime it selects uh, it just count double click so i will just lock it and uh, now we will just uh, move this car to black move this blue car to blue red car to red yellow car to yellow and that's it now we'll just go to scene to race track and uh, not time trial because we have set up these script for the race tracks only so we will just select the race track canvas race track again here and here we will just select opponent black opponent blue opponent red and then opponent yellow okay so that's great and now we'll just move back to our main scene so the main scene is the main menu okay let's play from the main menu no problem and uh, the audio is too high i think so i will just uh, mute the audio okay and uh, let's press any key uh, enter to start so now we are on track selection so let's select the track one let's select the race track and we have opponents so let's select uh, three opponents and start the game and let's see what will happen so you can see that we have three opponents we total position is four and uh, hopefully we have three opponents so one two and three that's great and we are on position four by four soon so then we will cross the next trigger hopefully so yeah that's great sometimes the positions didn't uh, update for a while but it will be updated after some seconds so this is a unique bug so that's fine so let's uh, move back and now we will test the second track so let's play the game and let's press enter track 2 race track let's make uh, only one opponent and uh, start and now we will have only one opponent hopefully and you can see on the position we have 0 by 2 and uh, now we will be on 2 by 2 yeah positioning is updating absolutely not fine and that's great we have successfully implemented the 
uh, position uh, opponent system and uh, we can choose and select the opponents let's meet in next video goodbye